Welcome to another episode of Create and Creatives where we dive into talented minds and explore the essence of creativity through their unique perspectives on the world, inspirations and motivations. With us today is Miss Janet Adebayo, a personal favorite. She's a self-taught Nigerian artist born in Lagos. She began her painting journey in the year 2019 and became a full-time artist in 2020. She refers to herself as a confessional artist whose art expresses intimate moments, openness to truth, and feelings others may be shy to confront. Miss Jeanette, please can you tell us a bit more of yourself? A bit more about myself? Yes. Well, you've not told them my age, so I'll just oh, tell them okay. I'm All right. 27. Um, no, no, sorry, 1997, so All that's right. 26. And my full name is Janet Sadibayo Adenike, and a confessional artist, born in Lagos, or currently mm -hmm. live in Lagos. So I think that's. That's just for now. Right. Mm -hmm. What's your art background and how did you get into art? Oh, okay. So it all started with um, copying whatever it is my brother draws. And from there I lost interest because I was not meeting up with him. Was very <laughs> so I lost interest. He used to draw Spider-Man mm. and other um, comic art like that. And I woke up that interest again 2015. That's during my IT. That's after two years in school studying for tech. And I had to register in um, a studio because I was so interested in learning the basis of it. And it turned out that this looks like something I want to. You could really do. Yes, yeah? to really do. And 2017, I got my certificate, so, and let's say professionally, I've been doing art from there. So, and here we are now, creating, and we want to keep creating and growing the space of art. Awesome. What inspires you to create art? As you, like you've said, um, you know, you weren't really um, sure if it was something you were going to go into whilst copying your brother's artwork. Mm -hmm. But at one point, you just, the, the spark came up again. Yeah. So what, what exactly was the inspiration or what kept you motivated to keep, you know, doing the art? Yeah. yeah, so at different stage of life, I feel like you have different things that inspires you. Mm -hmm. So there was a time where I was inspired with jealousy. <laughs> like I feel like, no, this is right. I think I can do this. I can do it better. Okay. So from jealousy, it leads to, let's say, your own life experience. Mm -hmm. So then at the point you want to be original. So mm -hmm. let's just say, and then just a different thing inspires you with, with time. Mm -hmm. So it, it can all start bad and then with time you just you walk through that process. So yeah, currently, I think just my life experience now inspires me and the things I see around. And I'm motivated by a whole lot of activities. Mm. So I think combined together inspires my flow and process and creativity right now. Mm. I think you're the type I really like to feel a lot. I can, I can <laughs> see it from your artworks. It's amazing, actually. Like right. You're able to portray them in your artworks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. about um, the creative process from like um, the beginning of creating an artwork to its completion? Okay, so um, creative process, I think the times where, when, yeah, I can't just tell you one, for, for one work is different from the other work. So for one particular work, I can start off like, oh, I really want to create this idea. There was a time I, I used to to want to bust my head myself before busting other people's head like oh yeah so she has created something great and so but the time i just have this whole idea and i want to create and i pick my sketch pad and sketch the whole idea out and try to 
sometimes make it make the whole idea perfect, perfect the idea mm -hmm. before putting it on canvas. And there are times whereby I just want to create, mm -hmm. the, you know. And this whole creation sometimes comes with frustration. There are times I just feel like, why, why am I even doing this art? Matter of fact, I'm tired of this. And then I just feel like, okay. I see other artists work and oh okay whatever it is that is keeping them going go going <laughs> going in this work I mm -hmm. don't care I think I should also motivate myself to mm -hmm. in a way so seeing other people work to sometimes motivate me so mm -hmm. okay. but some most time it starts off with inspiration starting the the work mm -hmm. and getting frustrated mm -hmm. regretting to ever choose art as mm -hmm. a career <laughs> and loving it again, finishing the work, trying to destroy the work, hmm. <laughs> and leaving the work that way it is, <laughs> and keeping the work. Sometimes turn the work to the wall. I don't just want to see this thing. There are, there are sometimes I create some work that bring back crazy memories, bad memories, and it's just a whole lot of, Tomorrow to say in a way. <laughs> to it's, say. it's very, very related. Mm -hmm. very, very so that so that way. So I, I will not say it's it's always starting off good like, oh I'm a good, I'm a badass um, creator. And so like sometimes it starts good, sometimes it starts worse. Did you, let's say through the process you it's just it's just it's just what I just explained. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's, I think that's uh, yeah. I mean a lot of artists have other interests aside from painting. So, is there any particular interest also that influences your like your artwork that you know like sparks anything that has to do with your art? Maybe it could be gaming, it could be movies, any other interests remain anything? Yeah, there's so many, so many things, so many things. I think that's what make, makes up my art. The choice of music, yes, choice of music, friends, mm. I, I don't want to sound proud by saying I'm an empath, mm. so in a way, I like I have emotions, so I can feel something. And it's a lot <laughs> romance too is part of it, no, not sexual, but I said romance, so it's part of what inspires. I'm Fashion or so I, I need us to be really different. So <laughs> I mean, I feel like I, I always feel like I'm doing too much, much and I'm right? like in my feelings. Your feelings. So I know. So so no. I I allow all of these things. Mm -hmm. So the choice of the choice of all of it. So I think it has a way to. And there are more. I mentioned the music, mentioned fashion. So a uh, fashion sense. So. Yeah, the kind of um, dress I'll choose for my male character will be different from female character. And sometimes I may just want some exposure in my female character because there was a time I experienced the 100% coverage of body and I, I just want to like, well, let me just give mm -hmm. off some exposure now. So I put all of these things in my art too. Yeah, so and just other lifestyle to influence my other interests to say influence the things I create. Yeah, just just let's say everything everything I experience in life I think I try to I can't put everything one hundred percent in the art but I just try to. So just so I don't know if that has I guess well. Yes. something about um, seeing other artworks, artists and how they are motivated with their works and mm -hmm. how they are able to start and complete an artwork. So do you have any particular artwork that you love that, that is not maybe yours or yours by maybe another artist or you? Like a favorite artwork, like what's the name? It might be yours, it might be your hmm. artist. To be honest, <laughs> I think one piece that I would just like to always mention. I think there are two, not just mm, one. Two. Oh, okay. So the first one would be, I pray 9,000 times. 
to be honest. And then the series of I Pray Night Thousand Times. And the second will be any series around family. Yeah, for anything family. So if I've seen anything family related from my side or from another artist's mm. point of view, I think it will be my favorite because you can I can always update my favorite piece of art. So if I'm just stuck to one piece of art, so that means I'm not growing. My mind is not growing. So I think currently, so anything around family and that work. I mean, that I prayed nine thousand times. So the series of it. So do you need reasons? Uh, yeah. To why? Okay. So for the I pray nine thousand times is because. There was a time, or there have, there have been times where, <laughs> where I would be in a terrible situation and there's just nobody to come to my aid and I feel like, oh God, like, please answer me. I know there are so many people you are responding to their prayer and I know you are busy, but can you just, just say, okay Jane, I'm here and what is it you want and take this or have it. So I know you are busy, but just let me know you are answering my prayers and like, especially the parts where I, because I write to some of my work, like are we still in speaking terms? Because it feels like I've done something so bad and God is not ready to answer, but please do something. So then I keep praying and praying and praying. So the, I wish to do, um, I wish to do other, other piece with the title I pray nine um, nine thousand and one time, nine thousand and two time, nine thousand and three time. Because I'm still alive, yeah. and there are times whereby God has, will not answer some prayers, and then mm -hmm. I would still love to create that piece and like in a reminder. Don't forget, yeah. So there's just there, there are times whereby I pray for Him to uh, do something, and then He just leaves it that way. He's not undoing anything. Why? That is very, very relatable. Sometimes I just, <laughs> just go on undo my knees and I'm like, undo this thing. I mm -hmm. know I wish for it, but please, yes. can you undo, undo it? Undo this thing. Undo it. But very mm -hmm. right. So, mm -hmm. and then, you know, then, so I think I'll still continue to because I'm still going to feel that way again. And other people will still feel that way too. Because I don't think there's a time where you will not say, God, are we still speaking times? Mm -hmm. So I think till with that, you still have a reason to say, I pray 9,000 and one time, I pray 9,000 and two time. So that's the reason for that piece. And for family piece, I think, no, I know <laughs> that um, I'm so interested in talking about family background, childhood trauma, um, other activities that can be done to bring people together because if you understand coming together as family you can understand, you can understand coming together as community you know, community yeah and that way so I think I want I am so in, invested in family as yes as something to, 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 to discuss or maybe from my perspective or another artist's perspective yeah. I've seen works from like, yeah, I think someone like Olato e. David is doing family work. Okay. Yes, and myself too. I'm <laughs> doing family work. So I think, I think there's one of your art pieces too that you know has like um, this family set. Yeah, yeah. While they were doing so much. Yeah, yes. And that is me trying to paint an ideal situation mm -hmm. for family. So, and I'm still working on how to really talk about the trauma that I face, and maybe not fantasy, and, but I'm looking for a way to work on it. I'm working on it, so it gets better for anything family. Count me in. <laughs> so, <can> we? <laughs> yeah. All right. Next question I actually mm -hmm. want to ask you is one of the reasons why I find you to be one of my favorite artists. Okay. <laughs> and it's because um, it's, you, your artworks are very, it mirrors a lot of truth and emotions that people are trying to hide. So the question is, are you comfortable with the relativity of thoughts that emanate from people when they see your art, when they view your art? 
what do they like are you comfortable with how they're able to relate with what you are trying to express with your art yes you know i have nothing to lose mm. seriously it's just me talking it's just me expressing mm -hmm. <laughs> matter of fact i've been <laughs> In a space where expressing oneself was hard, so and you know what it feels like when you give a bird its feather back to fly high. <laughs> so, so, so I, so I, I don't have any problem with how people see my art or things I say. Because I think we need spokesmen <laughs> like myself <laughs> mm -hmm. on behalf of other people who do not like to express themselves, but they really like that fact that you are expressing that part of you and they don't have no choice than to relate or interact mm -hmm. with it in any way, either mm -hmm. valuing it or talking about it or reaching out to me or loving it or creating a space for me mm -hmm. maybe in their hearts or in their mm -hmm. mind or maybe to exhibit or so so I don't have a problem with that matter of fact I think it's my power yes <laughs> it is and I'd like to I'd like to attest to that because there was a time I went for Miss Janet's um, exhibition mm -hmm. and I walked into the exhibition I saw other artworks and I just saw her artwork and I was like yeah. Okay. I'm able to relate to that. <laughs> and I just, I, because she was walking around and I had to find out who is this artist, I was able to, you know, paint something that I could relate to. And I, I'm, I'm telling you that uh, I, we are very grateful. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. I'm very grateful for, you know, being our spokesman. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think I need more of you, <laughs> more people like you that will not shut me up, but shut me up so that I can keep expressing myself. Amazing, amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> you only get three words to describe. You only get three words to describe yourself. What are they? Three words. So you can't use more than three words. Three words to yes. describe myself. Yes. Without using my name. No, I don't use your name. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. Hmm. Words. Hmm. Uh -uh. Or in sentence. Three words. Right. Okay, okay, I think maybe you should use your name so it will like prompt the words. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so Janet is mischievous. Hmm. Janet is a happy fit. <laughs> hey, no, oh, happy let's say happy feet. feet. Okay. Yeah, let's I say. think we can, we happy can close feet. that as, as one word. But okay, I'll happy feet. Let's say happy feet. And Janet is Elena. Hmm. Okay, I like that. What would um, your um, because every artist has their prime tool, you know, they might like to, you know, diversify into using other tools to create certain types of artworks, but what, what exactly is your prime tool when it comes to creating an artwork? Hmm, my prime tool is, uh, currently, uh, I like mixed media, I like acrylic on canvas, but I can use anything. I can go digital if I want. And, but currently, I'm using acrylic on canvas and mixed media. Like mixed media, because I, I don't just want to, to use or be limited to using acrylic on canvas. Because I can use any, I can infuse any material. As long as this is what, this art makes me feel this way, or this is the way I feel, so I want to put it back into that canvas so could be using this frame because i feel it will make me feel something when i see that art or it will help me express that original emotion that i feel so think anything so 
Okay. So that makes me mixed media, but I think currently I'm comfortable. No, no, I don't want to use comfortable. I don't want to change, don't comp compromise anything. So let's say acrylic on canvas or mixed media. Touching on that, I, I'd like to ask you a little controversial question. Okay. And you will tell me. What style are you on? Or what type or what style of artwork do you, would you say you prefer? Or what side are you on? Is it traditional artworks or digital artworks? Because you mentioned something about digital mm -hmm, artworks. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. now you have to pick a side. And you can't, you know, you can't say this is the reason why. Okay, yeah, you can't say this is the reason why, but you just have to pick a side. You can't enter to try and pick a side. Okay, unfortunately I can't pick a side. Uh, no, why does, why does every artist do this? You have to pick a side, that's what the question is. Okay, you know why? You can, uh, for me, I can't pick side. I can't, yeah, I can't pick side because if I say I love visual arts, what if I lose my sight? What happens if I say I, 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 the only form of art I love is music? What if I lose my ability to hear? What if I lose my ability to write? What if I lose my ability to speak? So there is always you should you should always enjoy what your ability can carry or think. I think so. Yeah, I think what what you can enjoy doing what you enjoy doing I think that's the thing so you don't have to force it so if it is what you enjoy doing for that period of time then enjoy doing it mm -hmm. so and if you want to learn you can learn to do other things too as long as you are expressing yourself genuinely mm -hmm. and you're very original with what you're doing so I don't think traditional art is better than digital art so because or saying music is better than writing or reading is better than if you have that ability to enjoy that thing mm. yes yeah, so as long as you have that feature to say to cite, decide to enjoy visual arts enjoy it either digital or traditional anyway so so you just escaped our question in a perfect way. Now you didn't pick a side at the end of the day. I think it's in, <laughs> in one of the best way anyone would escape it because I, mean, I, I get it. <laughs> so because mm. yeah, of course I think mm. that's it's that's allowed. the thing. Yeah, it is allowed. It's allowed. Because it's you, it's yeah, allowed. Yes. I don't think I'll be allowing any artist <laughs> to intertwine <laughs> traditional and digital anymore. Please just pick a side. We know definitely artists will love, you know, mm -hmm. they want to explore digital mm -hmm. and traditional. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the question says pick a side. Right, the you question. Know, you guys always escape it from mm. so, next time. So I just picked a side then. Digital yeah. traditional. Yeah. Oh, I All just right. I just pick life. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> All right, mm -hmm. thank you. Yeah. We'd like to ask you about one of your works in particular, which is um, Seeking Peace of Mind. Yeah. Can you give us, you know, like an insight on how that piece came about? Yeah, okay, so um, there's this friend of mine who told me the um, why he loves to um, have dog as a pet and that that dog has taught him how to love like unconditional love and then he likes to walk it down the street and then he feel like he's like the best company <laughs> that I can have and a couple of my friends too like that and I didn't believe until when I was in the midst of some of my so-called friends and I felt like I was alone. Yeah, in a way I missed of people and then you think you are supposed to be happy around them but you are alone and it was a place where I had to use I think more than one month and the only place I found peace, I mean, of mine was with the dog they had. So I was taking care of the dog and paying attention. There was something very important I was doing with them so that I had to stay but then I had to take care of that dog and find myself <laughs> taking care of the dog like loving myself from taking care of the dog and I would cry many times the way they 
you know treat me and but I just feel like okay I think this dog is enough for me to yeah to play with and so and then I had to go back to that friend and tell him my experience and resonate with him saying he got that same feeling when he was with his dog or whenever he has whenever he takes care of dog as a pet so he, i think he like he prefers to so it, it doesn't mean you don't have to interact with human i'm not saying that it's just you know there are periods of time whereby you just have mm -hmm. to use something as a substitute for so-called mm -hmm. humans and so maybe they are just not the right people around for you so i think yeah but for dogs I know you mentioned then, something about you know dogs teach you how mm -hmm. to love mm -hmm. and I think it's it's that's actually awesome. Mm -hmm. One of something about dogs yes. because they can't be there for you like when you're down yes. and then you they can't really talk. Yes. They only express true actions. They express true actions. Yes. So that that can be enough. Yes. For some yes. People. Yes. For some for, for some someone like my mom, she doesn't like dog at all. So but they, they, this <laughs> this dog who always who always hover around her and and she got tired, you know trying to push the dog away so she just has to learn to mm -hmm. like to accept the dog so dog they sh i think they show you love first mm -hmm. and then if you can reciprocate which is fine so unfortunately most of them have low self-esteem so i think that's what i study for dog unlike cats like you are the one to <laughs> bow down to their bow feet. down your feet and <laughs> so that's the thing about cats so they have this high self-esteem to a fault <laughs> yeah so that was that was it so it was i did it 2021 and that was when i was in that emotion maybe i would have known how to um walk myself through that emotion if i had experienced that kind of thing in 2023 matter of fact i will not even be in that shoe to experience that kind of thing i will not even allow myself to experience that kind of thing in 2020 three to say but mm. i had that whole experience in 2021 so i would cry many times because of course i had low self-esteem to say and i was not supposed to be in that environment but i thought staying would make them change but or would make a difference mm. so i think that's the reason why i had to mm. Mm. Right. thank you thank awesome. you so much it's okay so we have my favorite session okay which is the disorder questions okay so you have like two three seconds to answer whatever i throw at you and you cannot think about it twice okay, I'm so, very oh, yeah okay. as i'm rolling it out you have to be giving me okay i must very fast back. okay yeah. well what if i make mistakes no you don't make mistakes you'll be fine don't okay worry. okay all right all right so let's go abstract or realism abstract cats or dogs Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is that <laughs> for dog? Oh, okay. The, 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 the dog, dog, yeah, dog. You sound so sure. <laughs> you love dog. dog. Yes, yes. Right. You know why? Um, no, no. So far, no, no, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not documented. I'm not mm -hmm. sure. But cat has high self-esteem, and um, but you have to teach it how they to do. love. They but do. while for some dog, they have low self-esteem, but they teach you how to love. Hmm. So mm, I think both. I like the explanation. Thank you. Mm. All right, books or movies? Bo movies. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you? Yeah. Okay, okay. Maybe because I've been doing it too. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people do love both, but I'm, I'm more for movies than movies. Than movie, yeah. yeah, books. <laughs> All right, studio or outdoor? Outdoor. Okay. Coffee or tea? Tea. Oil or acrylic paint? Acrylic. Instagram or Twitter? Instagram. Afro pop or alte music? None. Ooh, why? <laughs> so what's your what's your preference? I, I I like to know. I shouldn't be asking you because mm -hmm. of this other but me yeah, I want yeah, to yeah. know. Honestly, I like country songs. Country. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Country. Mm -hmm. That's that's me. And and any song that I can't understand the language, think mm -hmm. like yeah, if maybe um, rock. Chinese song, rock, rock the Chinese song because this, this way they put their frustration in their voice. <laughs> True. So I mean, let's rock, say rock is, Chinese rock song. Rock music is hard. But so. in Chinese language, hmm. that's the thing. That was the extent. Because I don't understand it. That's why I like it. So, and yeah, any other songs I don't understand. So I think I like something I don't understand. So, mm. yes. 
Alright. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Batman or Superman? Superman. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted it to be Batman because you know I'm a fan of Batman. Batman. <laughs> okay, um but because I had to pick one. Yeah, so you just have to pick one, right? Mm -hmm. Alright. <laughs> okay, wine over here. Wine. Okay, so that's it for our this or that session. Thank yes. you. All right, guys, we are coming to the end of the session. But before we leave, we would love Miss Janet to, you know. Janet, just call me Janet. Oh, all right, all yes. right. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we would love Janet to give, you know, the emerging artist a little bit of advice, you know, maybe about obstacles they are having as artists, you know, on their journey and all of that. Just anything, a little something. Okay, so I'm just going to tell them a few things that has worked for me. And one is to believe in yourself because you are unique. I mean, you are beautiful with the things you create. So don't let anything make you feel like you're not doing enough or good enough. And you need to create good relationship with people, your artist, friend or friend as artist and curators or collectors because majority of them have to be returning people like they need to return so you need to create a good uh, relationship with them and you need to keep sourcing for opportunities that you are very sure they are good for you not some kind of opportunity that would um, spoil your <laughs> your quality as an artist so i think those few things are enough and to just keep going just keep going and keep learning keep on learning a lot of things keep learning and most importantly study your emotions be emotionally intelligent i think that's mm. like a major thing that covers every of your activity as an artist in this space Nino <laughs> Aginju. <laughs> Thank you. I think okay, that's for fine. those of you that understand, that don't understand your <laughs> and those of you that understand. Yeah. Anyways, all right. Thank all right, you, no, thank ja you so Janet. Janet. Uh, all right. It was a, a very, very lovely session. I don't know about you guys, but I, I loved every, every, every bit of it. And uh, I think we are going to find a way to bring us to this place again. I, I don't understand. She was just, she was just amazing. I, Thank I you love so much. every, you know, every of your thoughts. Thank it you. Awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, guys, that was it. Thank you very much for joining us on this session. We'll see you on the next session for Queen and Creatives. Thank you, guys. <laughs>